What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we are hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this team sent in by the tech. Yo, the tech, thank you so much for dropping your team. If you guys want me to play your rental teams, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below. Leave me a list of Pokemon, tell me whether it's doubles or singles, and if you have the EV spread, send that in as well. So this team right here is an Incineroar team, a Life Orb Incineroar team, which is pretty cool. I haven't seen a Life Orb Incineroar team till now, so if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. I know I've been playing Mystery Dungeon and all that lately, but like the Pokemon rank battle content is not going anywhere. And if you guys are missing like the daily uploads, just head over to my Twitch channel. Link will be in the description below. We stream four plus days every single week, and we're always doing Pokemon rank battle stuff over there. So if you're missing that content of daily uploads for that, head over there to get your daily dosage of content. But, alright, so this team right here has a Whimsicott on it for that speed boost with that tail. When he has a taunt, I really do like Whimsicott's with taunts on it. And has that normal focus sash so it doesn't go down in one hit. We have the Milotic, competitive Milotic, who has been pretty big in this new season. Considering all the Intimidate Pokemon that are rolling out, especially with that Incineroar. We have the Choice Scarf Butterfree. This one's a G-Max Butterfree with those compound eyes so we can land those sleep powders. And this one has Sun Sword for Paralyzer so we can land them much easier. And we can also G-Max to do some big damage. We have the Draco Fish over here. Draco Fish with the Choice man we already know what's happening we can get him out there go for some fishes rents and absolutely dominate we have the incineroar life orb with his normal moveset i really do love this moveset so we can use this incineroar two different ways since he is life orb we can go big damage and just take control of the match or we can hang him in the back let him use his intimidates fake outs parting shot out just drop attack and special attack and rinse repeat just like that to pester and then in the final spot it's probably my favorite pokemon for this team it's going to be this big root eldegoss so big root actually gives us more hp with like leech seeds giga drains all that good stuff so that's why it's on it this thing has leech seed energy ball another sleep powder pokemon so we got two different ways to put in pokemon sleep and protect it also has that ability of cotton down so whenever somebody hits my eldegoss everybody on the field besides the eldegoss will have a speed drop Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. And let me know for question of the day, what do you guys want to see in the next Nintendo Direct? Because there was just one rumored, so that's pretty cool. I'm kind of hyped for it if they do have one because we haven't had one in a while. And I want to see some like new main Mario game content. Like I really want to see something like that. Like Just let me know that you're working on something new like an Odyssey 2, Galaxy 3, just something new in the mainline Mario. But guys, without further ado, let's hop onto the ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. Battle number one on its way. This guy has a little bit of Charizard Drought team with that Storm Drain Gastron. So that thing's going to be a pain up against my Draco Fish. I definitely see him leading that Grimmsnarl. I feel like he's going to lead probably the Grimmsnarl and something else. Or like Grimmsnarl Ninetales or the Ninetales Charizard just trying to get after me right in the beginning. So I think I'm going to go actually Whimsicott. Do I go Butterfree or Eldegoss? Do I go Butterfree or Eldegoss? I might want to go Butterfree considering we can just outspeed from there. Or should I go Eldegoss? Because if he goes Drought, that's kind of scary. But I kind of want to go Eldegoss as well. So I'm going to go Eldegoss, show that off. We're going to go Incineroar in the back end. And then I think Milotic's going to be the better call. I really don't want that uh, that Draco Fish out there. Draco Fish is just going to be... Eh. Actually, do I go Butterfree here? I could go Butterfree. We have Ice Beam on this. We do have Ice Beam on this. I might just go Butterfree here. Have double Sleep Monsters rolling out here? Let's lead the Butterfree, actually. Oh my god, I gotta withdraw everything before this goes. But yeah, let's lead the Butterfree. Let's try to get some sleeps, because we do have that Choice Scarf, so we're gonna be able to outspeed a lot of Pokemon here. I think everybody may be except for his Durant, or he might be able to get that outspeed on Durant. So Incineroar and Butterfree is gonna be a bigger attackers. I brought this Butterfree because I realized it's G-Max and it can actually hit pretty hard. So we can always G-Max right off the bat if we really want to. We are a speedy little bugger. And we have the uh, Whimscott in the front for that Tailwind. Right? Yeah, I believe we do. So he's gonna go with the Charizard and the Grimstar. Okay, I did not see him really leading that Charizard, but he goes with the Grimstar to set up screens potentially. Um, I could taunt. Nah, I'm not gonna taunt. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go into a. Uh, we have Worry Seed. That's pretty nice. Prevents Pokemon. Wait, a seed that causes Worry planted on target prevents Sleep by making the target ability Insomnia. So we can change abilities here. That's pretty nice. That is honestly pretty nice. I'm just gonna go for the Tailwind straight up. That's why I guarantee myself the uh, the Sleep Powder. But actually, does this thing protect? Does this thing protect? Do I go for a G-Max with Bottle? I mean, does this thing have Fake Out? I feel like it has Fake Out on it, and he's going to go for the kill. Hmm. I might actually swap. Do I swap? Dude, what is the call? No, because he's just going to Airstream. Uh, let's go for the G-Max with Bottle. Go for the G-Max Befuddle over on this thing, just in case. I'm thinking this thing has Fake Out. I really think he's going to Dynamax. I'm going to Dynamax. 
And I think he's gonna go for the fake out and try to take out my Butterfree. So maybe I can just waste my G Max on a uh, on like a befuddle to try to get some. What is it? Paralyzes, poisons, sleeps all around on these Pokemon. Or maybe I should just went for the sleep powder. But I just feel like he's going for that fake out. So that's why I had the G Max right off the bat. Let's see what happens here. He's gonna go for the fake out. Good call by me. Good call by me. I didn't have a protect on this month. So I'm just like, let me do this. Let me take it this route. But he does not know uh, Dynamax. He does not Dynamax at Charizard, which is actually kind of nice by us. Though we know we'll outspeed next turn. I think we'll survive whatever he has thrown at us. But let's go. G Max Buffalo is gonna come out here. Show me we get the, uh, the status conditions. Throw him on him. Give him to him. Yes, we get the Charizard to sleep. Big plays, baby. And a poison on this thing. Oh. Yes, sir. And now we can start max air streaming up here. Onto the Charizard. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Yo, Poison comes out here. We'll go for a nice little Moon Blast over on it. He'll probably set up a screen before he goes out. Then I'm going to set up a nice little Max Air Stream. Just, just to get our speed boosted once again. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. I knew the fake out was coming here. And of course he paralyzes me. Yo, we got to take this thing out. We got to take this thing out. Butterfree, be able to move, my dude. Boom Scott goes for the Moon Blast. This should be able to KO. He has no screen. So this could be very, very nice. Yeah, we take him out. He doesn't even set up a screen. He just gets to paralyze on my Butterfree. But we have the sleep over on this Charizard. So if I can get this Charizard out the way, I'm gonna I'm be just fine. I'm gonna be just fine. We land a Max Airstream. We are not paralyzed here. Not bad damage. Warden half. I feel like a Moon Blast could potentially take it out. But I think he's gonna go into the uh, the Nine Tails, to be honest. I really do think he's gonna go into the Nine Tails here. But let's see. Let's just see what he does. I feel like he has Gastron and Nine Tails in the back end. He had to bring that Gastron. Gonna go Durant. Um, we might have speed advantage here, which is lovely. Which is lovely. Um, how should I go out with this? He might actually Dynamax that. Good worry, Seed it. And actually make it Insomnia. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, it's not very effective to both. Bruh, 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 bruh. I'm gonna actually swap here. Yeah, I'm gonna swap into my Incineroar right here. Just to get that Intimidate off. And then I'm gonna max Airstream and boost the speed of Vermont. So then I can eventually parting shot on that Durant once again. And do some work from there. Or just have the speed advantage with that Tailwind and the speed boost from the max Airstream. Yeah, let's go with that. Incineroar, baby. Get in here. What you want? He has to be going after my Butterfree. And my Butterfree might have the speed advantage. I don't know. It's paralyzed. It has the Tailwind. And it's plus one. So we'll see. I know another Airstream, if we can land it, we'll take out the Durant. Or not the Durant, the Charizard. But he goes into the... The rant with the Dynamax, and he has to be going after my Butterfree with like a Rock Ball. So I'm, I'm seriously thinking if we land this, we are just fine. We are just fine. If we can land the Airstream, I don't know if we're gonna outspeed that thing. This is tough. This is tough. Coming down, but the big sleep was good. The big sleep was good. Who's gonna go first? He's asleep, so he definitely is the rant. Definitely outspeeds me. Butterfree's paralyzed. No, no. Oh man, the Rock Ball comes flying out. That's tough news. That's tough news. Butterfree goes down. Oh, man. That, that's whack. That is whack. I think I'm just parting shot out again. Oh, dude, that's rough news right there. That is so rough. Mm. Okay, so we got to work off of this right here. But who's left? We got the Whimsicott. I kind of want to save the Whimsicott for the back end. But I have to take out this uh, Charizard. This Charizard's got to go. Like, this Charizard 100% has to go. Do I go Eldegoss here? Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Such a pain. It's such a pain. I think I'm going to go Eldegoss. I really think my Pokemon should be able to outspeed with this uh, Tailwind turns. Hmm. We should have one more turn left in Tailwind. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go Eldegoss. And I'm going to throw it at Durant to sleep. I'm going to throw it at Dur Durant to sleep. And I'm going to take out the Charizard. I'm thinking my Eldegoss should be able to outspeed. Yeah, let's get this. Let's get this, guys. We have Flare Blitz. I could just dump on the Durant. But I'd rather get this Charizard out the way. And put a... What's it called? On the... Asleep on the Durant. Because I'm thinking my Eldegoss should be able to outspeed that Durant in the Tailwind. Both my mods should be able to outspeed. Let's see what happens. Because no one's paralyzed. No one is paralyzed. And I think we're chilling fine. Yo, dude, I'm so hyped that we got that sleep right off the bat. If this works out, we have this game in the bag. Because I take out the Charizard here with Darkest Larry. And then I Flare Blitz take out the Durant next turn. And it's just GG. It's just GG. Let's see. And he has, it has to be the Storm Drink Astron in the back. He's going to withdraw Durant. Beautiful. That's totally fine by me. I am not going into the flare, but you can go into that gas line. That's totally fine by me. And then I have the grass advantage, and he's so slow. He is so slow. Let's get it. I can totally parting shot out here from here. He woke up and outspeeds. Eldegoss, eat up this shot, please. Thank you. Eldegoss is a beast. Absolute tank. That's lovely. Not very effective on Cinnamor. Cotton down comes through. Gonna slow down Charizard. Now I'm gonna 100% parting shot out onto that, uh, 
that Gastron, just so I can get out and return back for a fake out. And go from there. Darkest Slayer comes out here. What you want, fool? Yo, ye. Take him out. Let's go, Winston Aurora. Big plays, baby. Big plays. And we'll get the Sleep Powder over on you. And then the Durant's going to come out here. The Durant is going to come out here. Get the Sleep on that. I get Parting Shot out on the Durant. Just so he doesn't do big, big damage. And I feel like we're chilling here. I feel like we are chilling here just fine. Just dandy. But I definitely have the Parting Shot on that Durant. Then when does Peter out? Hmm. But yeah, I I parting shot out, I get the what's called up as well. I can either sleep or I can flare blitz. It really depends what he wants to do here. I'm definitely gonna parting shot and sleep at the same time. Or I can just flare blitz. No, I'd rather have the tailwind out and come back here. Do I sleep or do I what do I do here? Hmm. He's gotta be coming after my Incineroar. Right? Right? I'm gonna say he goes after my Incineroar slot, so there's no. Actually, yeah. Let's just put this thing asleep. I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna play it safe. I can definitely go for an energy ball next turn. That Gastron should be asleep. Next turn. Durant goes for a rock side. You hunk a junk Durant. Get out of here. Incineroar, live. Oh my god, he doesn't live. So this sleep powder kind of needs to land here. This sleep powder kind of just needs to land. We're sitting in a rather tough situation, to be honest with you. Hmm. Because the Buffets are potentially going to take me out. The Buffets are potentially going to take me out. And we land the sleep powder, though. But we have our Whimsicott. We do have our Whimsicott. Do we even set up a Tailwind? I definitely go for an Energy. Or do I go for a Leech Seed next turn? Because then the Sandstorm's going to take me out. Or is this buff going to take me out? I need a Leech Seed. I do need the Leech Seed in order to survive. So I'm going to go Whimsicott. <laughs> oh my god, Leo. This is terrible. I definitely go Whimsicott. Get that Tailwind up. I got a Leech Seed that Gash on. Hope it's asleep the next turn. Oh! Go Tailwind here. We got Leech We have to. Like, that's a fact. That's a straight fact. We have to Leech Get some health back here. And then roll out into an energy ball. So I'm hoping both these Pokemon are asleep right now. They have to be. Oh, if he didn't take out my Incineroar with that, we have this one wrapped up. We have this one wrapped up. Leech comes out here. Come on, show me you're both asleep. Show me you're both asleep. Gastron was seated. Durant's asleep. Show me Gastron still asleep. Yes! Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now I can definitely throw out an energy ball here. I can definitely throw out an energy ball. He's going to drop a rock slide. Oh, wait. What do you mean? No. No, I thought the Leech Seed would go first. We definitely lost this one now. That is so whack. I thought the Leech Seed would go first. If I knew that, I would just hucked an energy ball at that thing. Get out of here. Get off me. Whack. So whack. It's all good. It's all good. Man, dude, I totally thought the Leech Seed would trigger first. Durant's still asleep. Gastron's probably waking up here. Gastron does wake up. He's going to go for a blizzard. Crazy, dude. That's crazy, my dude. Uh, Durant's just going to probably end up winning this one. Durant's rather scary. Uh, Moonblast again, I guess. I guess so. Oh, my lord. I'm so mad. I am so mad. Did not go with my favorite, dude. Durant's still asleep. Is this thing recovering? If this thing doesn't recover, we could potentially take it out. i go for another blizzard. Let me eat this one up. We do eat. He's rocking out with Blizzard. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go after it again. I feel like the Durant's gonna wake up here. Tough news, dude. Yo, dude, that's so tough. That is so tough. He took out my Incineroar with that Rock Slizzle. This thing's an absolute beast, though. Durant, you, everyone knows he hits like a truck. Can it, can we KO here? Oh, dude, the legit one HP. Durant wakes up, and Durant's gonna take us out with an Iron Head. GG, my man. We got 0 1 in that first battle. Oh, that was close. That was close. If I would have just... I think even if my Leech Seed was there, I, I feel like we had a shot at winning this. But my real loss was when that Incineroar went down. But let's hop into battle number two and try to get a win. Battle number two on its way. This guy has a Venus routine right here and a potential Belly Drum Snorlax. So I'm definitely needing my Whimsicott here just to take the speed away from him. And if he goes to the Snorlax, I can taunt it up. All that good stuff. I think he's going to lead Grimmsnarl. I really do. Maybe the Duraldon as well. But who should I go in from here? He's got to be leading that Grimstar with that fake out. He's, he's got to be. So do I pose a threat of setting up a Tailwind and a Sleep Powder with my Butterfree? Do I pose that threat? Hmm. I feel like we kind of outspeed everyone except for that uh, Dragapult. And maybe that Venusaur could be a little bit faster. I definitely want to bring my Incineroar. Hmm. Who do I go here? I kind of want to pose the threat of going Sleep Powder and Butterfree. Or Butterfree and Whimsicott. And then going Incineroar. And I mean, my Dracofish can do some work here. I'm going to bring the Draco Fish as well. 
And instead of the Butterfree, actually, we gotta withdraw all, all these guys. I wanna get my Elder Gloss up in here. Let's get Elder Gloss, Wimscott, and then go Incineroar, Drink a Fish in the back end, Fort Battle number two. Okay, we got it, we got it. I hate how it does that. When you bat, when you knock off one, it just triggers down the line, then you have to take out everybody. Blah, blah, blah. There should just be like a button, click it, and you tell them which one you wanna place in first, second, third, fourth. Blah, blah, blah. blah. I mean, third and fourth doesn't even matter. It, it, it doesn't matter at all. It's just your top two. It's just your top two. Bam, 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 bam. All right, let's see. He goes in with the Grim Soul for sure. He's going to go for that fake out. And I think he's going to try to take out my L, not my Elder Gloss. I think he's going to try to take out my Wimscott. Take out the speed factor here. Bam, 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 bam. Now, what's he going to do here? We, should we go for a Moonblast or just go straight? I'm just going to go straight for his Tailwind. I do I protect here. I kind of want to protect. But at the same time, I want to put that uh, boy to sleep. I'll put this thing to sleep. I'm gonna get that Dragapult, Night Knight. Give him some Night Quill. Say, go to bed. It's past your bedtime, my dude. We're gonna roll out here. We're gonna roll out here. But yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video, I know I've been uploading Mystery Dungeon. I've been having tons of fun with it. If you guys haven't checked out that playthrough, you guys should definitely do it. It is tons of fun. I feel like my energy level is maybe on another level because I'm just having so much fun playing that game. And just, I feel like everything is just great. But I know we're not uploading Pokemon Sword and Shield every day like we used to. Like, it's not going anywhere. We're still going to be uploading it on the channel. Just if you want to catch more content from it, just head to the link in the description below. Seriously, we stream it four plus days on Twitch. It's tons of fun. Come hang out. Come hang out. We're starting to grow a community as well. Let's get it. He's going to Dynamax the Pulse Ski. That's why I'm putting you to sleep, Ski. Baby. What you want? What you want? So, that's chilling. That's totally fine by me. Pulse Ski going to go to Sleepy Poo. Unless he fakes out my Elder Boss. I think he's going to fake out my Whimsy Poo. Fake out my Whimsy Poo. Yes, okay. So, Whimsy Poo. This is why I pose that threat. That I can get this thing to sleep. He's going to go for a Phantasm. Over on who? My oh, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. My Elder Boss eats up here. Puts this thing to sleep, we set up the Tailwind next turn, and I can start lead seeding as well. Yeah. You're gonna drop our defense, but we're gonna drop your speed. We're gonna drop your speed. Oh, that thing's clear body, so that's fine. Let's go into this. I can sleep powder here and then throw a moon blast. Or no, not moon blast. I would rather get that tailwind set up. Let's go, LD Goss. Let's get it, LD. LD Goss. You're the best. You're the best. Uh, now I can go definitely for that tailwind, and I can set up the lead seed as well. Let's see what he does. Let's see what this fool does. I wonder what he's going to do. I think he's going to set up a screen or either go for a T-Wave. I just hope he doesn't take out my other Gloss. I hope we can go here, protect, just roll out from there. I would love to throw some energy balls around. He's going to withdraw the Grim Snarl. That's huge. That's huge. Who's he going to go to from here? Whom are you going into? The Venusaur. The Venusaur. That's totally fine. Um, I wonder what the Venusaur is going to do, though. I mean, I have Moonblast, which I really want to throw after my... Uh, I really do want to throw after the the Dragapult. We're going to leech you there. I'm going to protect my Elder Gloss next turn and throw a Moonblast out because I really do think it's a uh, this Dragapult is going to go after my uh we're not Dragapult. I really think it's Venusaur is going to go, go after my Elder Gloss. So I'm going to go Moonblast here. Then I'm going to just protect. I'm going to just protect. I'm going to just play it smart, play it safe because I can't leech seed him. Energy Ball is really not going to do much. I'm just trying to regain some HP before I swap out here. No, it's all Dragapult now. I'm cool with it. I'm totally cool with it. Waste his Dynamax. That's wonderful. And we have a sleeping Pulse Key in the back. He's going to go into the, the Grimstraw. That's fine. Moonblast flying out over on that. That's chilling. That is so fine by me. Like, what was the point of doing that? I just don't get really the point of swapping your Dragapult into another Pokemon that is uh, vulnerable to those fairy hits. Look at that big damage there. And are you going for Sludge Bomb? Yep. Sludge Bomb onto here. I think he just wanted to get that Leech Sheet off. That's totally fine. Now I can definitely go into a Moonblast once again. And how should I roll out here? I could go Fish. I could definitely go Fish and start running in this. Or I could go Incineroar as well. But I see a Sludge Bomb coming out. Let's say we just take this one. And give him all the speed drop. I say we do that. I say we do that. Give him all the speed drop. And then eventually go into a Max Flare. And I'll try to set up another Leech Seed. I mean, no. That thing's dead. I mean, let's go for the double protect. I said we go for the double protect. Yo, if we land this, this will be hilarious. I'm going for double protect. Ah, yo, I, you gotta give me, you gotta give me credit here. I went for it. Oh, but you faked out on my whimsy poo. You won't get junk. Sludge bomb's gonna pop through. Take out my. Okay, he takes out my whimsicott. That's totally fine. I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm gonna get my incineroar up in here. My incineroar. My incineroar. Yeah. 
All right, so Incineroar pops here. I'm definitely Dynamaxing him. I'm definitely Dynamaxing him. As much as I can go for a fake out, I'm going to Dynamax. Intimidate pops here. Definitely Dynamax into a Max Flare. Take out that Bean Bean. He can swap if he wants. I mean, who's he have in the back? Dragapult? I'm cool with it. There's no point for me to really go for that fake out. Because we have the speed advantage as well. Not much energy ball across over onto the Scrimstraw. And then still have the speed advantage to potentially set up another. Okay, dude, go ahead. Withdraw that thing. Who are you going into? Your Pult again? You go back into the Pult. We're just going to throw an energy ball at that. Is he withdrawing the Venusaur? He is not withdrawing that Venusaur. That's, that's insane. I think we're going to take out here with Life Orb. Big damage coming through. Big boy. Big boy. And if he hits my Elder Gauss, we just slow down all the other Pokemon here. As well as my Incineroar. But we have that Tailwind up around us. Just type nice. So if we can take out the Venusaur here, that is chilling. That is chilling. So one tap it up. Unless he's protecting. No, he's not, dude. He's done. Get him out of here. Get him out of here, Venusaur. You can't handle this flare. You can't handle this Life Orb Incineroar flare. Get him gone. We get the Drought set up. We're chilling here. Energy Ball is going to fly through. This Dragon Bolt should still be asleep. Well, next turn he should be. I'm thinking Energy Ball is going to fly out here. And I know we have the speed advantage. Go away. Boop. Not, not, that, was, that was decent damage for a not very effective move. Oh, the Tailwind Peter. Uh, bu -bu -bu. I still have another Sleep Powder, so I might actually throw a Sleep Powder over on whatever Pokemon comes out. And then just dump on the Pult. Because the Pult's a big threat. It's a, it really depends who this is. It's a Grimstar. Okay, opposing, not a big threat at all. So I'm going to throw... Do I Darkness this? Super effective and sad. Let's do it. And then we'll just go into an energy ball just to take out the Grimstar. Just tell him to get out of here. Tell him to get out of here. He's probably going to set up his screen. That's what I think he's going to do. But I think my Incineroar should be able to outspeed this Grimstar. Unless he's going for like a Prankster move. Come on, baby. I just need this Pulse to be asleep. I think he will be. I think he was only asleep for one turn before that. Unless if withdrawing him and having him stand in the party does something. Of course it does. Of course it does. This thing wakes up and he goes for Dragon Darts. He goes for Dragon Darts. I should be fine. Well, my Elder Gloss, obviously not. Cotton Down's going to come out here, though. That's not bad, but... But I have another Pokemon in the back. That actually helps out a lot with the speed factor. So Grimstar is going to be slower. And my what's called is going to be able to come out here. My Draco Fish. I just have to be able to take out this uh this boy right here. If I take out the Poltsky here, it's, it's game. It's game in the bag. Because my Draco Fish is going to be able to out here and run it. Which I think I should. Super effective stab. Dynamax, yeah. Get him out of here. Go on. Okay, so that, so that should be game. My Draco Fish should be fast on the field now as that, as that thing's... uh. The Grimstar is slow down one. Even, like, I don't even care what he has. Oh, but I have the Flare out here. So would it be safe to go into... Well, Foul Play's going to pop here as well. Not do too, too much damage. He's not very effective. But still, I feel like this, uh... This Fish's Run still should be able to do a decent amount of damage in this weather. Hmm, let's see. Let's just see who his next mod is. This is Snorlax. Okay. I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad with it. I'm going to definitely drop a Flare onto it. Get some big damage going out on it. And then I'm going to take out you with, uh... We'll go Ice Fang for that Strong Jaw. Maybe leave it frozen. He wants to set up screens. I have to go into a certain... So it's either Stab Fish or Ren in this weather. I'm going to still go for it. I'm definitely going to still uh, go into this uh, Choice Bandit Fish is Ren. I think that's just a better play. Fish Ren's going to pop. Take out the Grimmy Poo. Bye, Grimstarl. He's gone. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Okay, and then this flare comes through and it's going to do some big damage onto the Snorlax. It might even KO. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Yeah. Game over. Oh, no. Is it Sashed? Is it Sashed? It's not It's not even Sashed. It just survived on one and ate his berry. What are we going for here? Just for a belly drum. Like, you really thought that you were going to get off a belly drum there. He really thought he was going to get off a belly drum there. But, yo, match two is in the bag. We got this one. Easy. Incineroar comes out, shows up. He's shiny too. That's dope. I like shiny Incineroar. And then I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna just go for a flare blitz, I guess. And I, I just want to see how much damage this Fish's Ren's gonna do up against this thing, even in the drought. Let's see. He's probably just gonna cancel, not even let us happen. Yep, he does cancel. But let's go one and one. Let's hop into our third and final battle and see if we can get a winning record. We got another Venusaur team here. He has a Drought team with it, so it's definitely core fill for to double its speed. He has the Sableye to set the sun. He probably has the Women's God to set the sun. He has the Drought with the Torkoal to set the sun. But I think he's going to go Sableye, Charizard, or uh, bum, 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 or Women's God, Charizard. I definitely want to lead my Women's God, get that going. But I want to go into like a maybe something to put him to sleep. That could be big. That could be big. I kind of want to go into my Elder Gloss. I kind of do. 
But I kind of want to go into my Butterfree as well. Let's go Butterfree here, because Butterfree we know will outspeed the Tree Scarf. It's so fast. So we'll go there, we'll go Milotic, and then Fish or Incineroar. I think Incineroar could be definitely dangerous here. Especially if they set the drought for us, we can do some big damage. So let's go Incineroar here. Let's go Incineroar right here, right now. Try to get this win. Try to get this win. And I think he's going to go Charizard Wimscott, which would be totally fine by me. We can have a dual little Tailwind match there. It doesn't matter. I'll try to set up Tailwind. He, he can try to taunt me. It doesn't really matter. And then I can just go into a uh, a Sleep Powder. But what I have to do is definitely Tailwind. For sure. Just in case he uh, Tailwinds and me thinking he's going for the taunt. But he goes Torkoal into the Mimikyu. I mean, I'm cool with it. I'm totally cool with it. Definitely got to put that Torkoal to sleep. He's got to go Night Night, maybe. Torkoal's got to go Night Night. We got we to gotta get this Tailwind. Actually, we do not need a Tailwind. We, we outspeed regardless. So I'm actually take this off him. I'm going to put you to sleep. I'm going to put this Torkoal to sleep. He's got to go to sleep because that eruption will do too, too much damage. Here. Way too much damage. And then we can start teeing off on it. He's going to protect. Okay, he's going to protect. That's totally fine. He doesn't get his eruption off. I'm cool with it. Sleep Powder gets blocked. That's fine by me, my dude. Then I'll be able to go into a Moon Blast over on you. Like, see, we already have the speed advantage, so I don't really need to set up the Tailwind just yet. Drop that disguise. And what's he going to go into? What is this Mimikyu going to go into? Is he going to set a Trick Room? He might set the Trick Room. Yo, you little biscuit, bro. You little biscuit. Um, bum, bum, bum. How do I roll with this one? Hmm. I don't worry, see that thing. Oh, I definitely gotta do some damage over here. Try to protect or sleep powder. Ah! He's gonna, he's gonna pick a potential double kill here. Let's go Incineroar, but still, that's just still big damage with that eruption. I'm gonna have to let him take me out. I mean, hopefully he misses and we get to put that thing to sleep. Man, we should have put that mini mims. Shadow Sneak comes through. He's gonna try, he's thinking, he's thinking I'm sashed on this side, which I'm not. And then eruption comes through. Wow, that Mimikyu is slower than that Torkoal. A little odd. That's gonna be big damage. That's gonna bring me down to my Sash. Scary damage. That's scary damage. We're gonna have to bring out the Milo Tick here. The Milo! Actually, do we even bring out the Milo Tick? We're in a drought. This is scary. Moonblast flies through. Can we take out the Mimi Mims? Get him out of here. Get him going. Nope. Do a decent amount. So, rather scary here. I'm terrified here. I can definitely fake out the Incident or the Torkoal. And then take out the Mimikyu from there. Let's see. Let's see. We have to intimidate Molin as well. Do I worry you see that Torkoal? I might actually worry you see that Torkoal, just so it doesn't get another drought out there. I don't know. Oof. Bruh. Definitely want to take out the Mimikyu. Definitely want to take out the Mimikyu. And then just drop a little bit of fake out action. Onto the Torx. Onto the Torkoal, oh, yeah. So his Eruption doesn't do so much damage. Because Eruption is based on his, where his HP is at. So when he's boosted like that in the drought, it is so tough. It's like, bruh, dude. He's gonna do some big damage. He's dumped on my Butterfree. He's dumped on him. And he basically dumped on my, uh, my Woman's Cup, but we have the Sash, which helps us out. So we're gonna get the Trick Room Mon out the way. So now there'll be two turns after this. And I don't know if I set up a Tailwind. Like, we're already faster. Let's see. Let's just see what happens. So we get this going. And we should be able to take out the Mimikyu from here. Let's go. Woman's Cup goes Moon Blast. How can we go before that Mimikyu? A little weird. A little weird. I know, he probably is faster than us. It was just because he used Shadow Sneak. That's why I said that, that threw me off. Okay, we're chilling. Who's he gonna go into is the real question. I think Charizard maybe? And start going for some Airstream, something along those lines. So I'm thinking I have to Dynamax here. Or do I just save him for the Milotic? Like, Milotic could be a beast if we set the lane. Mmm, could be very good. Maybe just go into a party shot. So he goes Sableye. Okay, so he goes with the Sableye. Ugh, ugh. Definitely Moon Blast gonna have to pop out here. Throw it on that. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. what do I do? Gonna go Darkest Larry over on the Torkoal. Oh, dude, this is tough. I wonder what a Sableye is gonna do. Maybe Quash or Ally Switch. Let's see. Ally Switch. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll get Darkest Larry over on that. We'll get a Moon Blast over on the Torkoal. But this eruption is probably gonna do some big damage. I'm scared of it. Definitely take out my, uh, I don't know about my Incineroar. Okay, Incineroar eats up. Perfectly fine. Okay, that's Sean. We'll get it. We'll get a Darkest Slayer over here. And then I'm going to Dynamax my, uh, my what's it called? I'm going to definitely Dynamax my, uh, my Milo. Get the rain going. Either way. But not bad damage. Not bad damage right there. Trick Room should be ending soon. 
One more turn. One more turn, I believe. But I have to Dynamax and go into the the, the geyser. If I can set the rain, just we'll be chilling. We'll be chilling. But we'll go. Geyser and up over on the Torkoal side. The ally switches again. I'm totally fine with it. I'm gonna go. I might double into the Torkoal. Yeah, I'm gonna double into the Torkoal slot because I don't really see the Sableye doing too too much here. Might have foul play. Not too sure. But last turn in Trick Room, so after we get out of this, we should be chilling. Maybe I should just protect it with my Milo Tick and then went into the Dynamax, but we gotta get this Drought out of the way. We have to get the Drought out of the way, sure. What you got, my dude? What are you doing? That's my question. Are we going for Solar Brown? No, it's gotta be Choice. It's definitely gotta be Choice into Eruption. Or maybe it's not. I might actually Dynamax. That, that might be his plan. Actually, Dynamax going to a max overgrowth. Let's see. He does not Dynamax. Okay, he does not Dynamax the Torkoal, but he could be going for a solar battle, which is scary. It's scary. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. What you want, my dude? What you want? So my Milo Tick should go before my Incineroar as well. So hopefully we can take out this Torkoal, and then that uh, Mega Slayer just slides over. Hey, okay, nice. But I'm not worried about the Torkoal once we get this ring going. Let's see what happens. Will-O-Wisp. That's fine. We're special attacking. We are special attacking, my dude. Solar beam. Ugh! Ugh! Stop it! Please! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! <laughs> Can we eat this? We should be able to eat pretty well. Yeah, okay. Beautiful. Eat that one up. Just dandy cakes. And here we go! I think we're gonna start taking control of this match. And start parting shot away. Big damage there. Does not take out. Good thing we did double up and actually, not really that we doubled up in the total goal. It's not too good, because like. I would kind of rather get that Sableye out the way. He's just going to throw burns and stuff around. But he can't burn my Incineroar. But actually, not too bad. He might quash Pokemon, and he still has his, uh, his Dynamax. Still has his Dynamax. Oh, he's in the rain. He's in the rain. So, Incineroar's going to take some HP. And let's go. Leftover's going to trigger here. But if he uses a Dynamax move to say that lowers my stats, we'll just get that competitive nature popping off with us. Which is Dimensions to return to normal. I think he's going to set the Sun again. I really do think he's going to set the Sun again. With the sunny day. So here goes the Charizard. I'm going to definitely take out the Sableye here. I think it's going to go sunny day. I think I'm just going to transfer it right back. Yeah, I'm definitely going to transfer it right back. Do I go into a parting shot? No, I'm just going to go Darkest Larry. Take out the Sableye. Come leave me alone. Sunny day is just terrible. Like, I need that out the way. It's like, if I can eat up a shot from this Charizard, which I think we can. Even if he Dynamax goes for a Max Overgrowth. I really do think we're going to eat it up from the, with the Milo Tick. Like, I think we're going to eat it up, be able to set the drought, or not the drought, the rain, and kind of be able to just run it out after that. Then kind of just Darkest Larry on this thing. Let's honestly see what this thing does. He could be Max Garden. But that would that, that would actually benefit me if he Max Garden. So I, I feel like we're sitting in a good position unless he just absolutely dumps on my Milo thing. That would be the only problem. That would honestly be the only problem if he dumps on my Milo thing. With the overgrowth, but I just don't see it happening. Considering how low that Torkoal's damage did with that solar beam, I don't see a max overgrowth doing too too much more. Maybe, maybe bring me down a decent amount. But I think we're fine. He's gotta be going sunny day. Right? He going sunny day? Oh, he's guarding, dude. Like I said, that's totally fine by me. That's totally fine. And he sets a sunny day. That's perfect. That 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 I'm 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 cool with it. I'm cool with it 100 percent I'm cool with it. Darkest Lariat pops. We're going to be able to take that out. And now do I guard and then go into a parting shot? I could. I could guard and go into a parting shot. But this will be my last turn. I really don't want to waste it like that. Looks like I'm just going to get the block. Hmm. Solar power is going to trigger. Let's see what happens. What, like, what should I do? Do I, do I consider max guarding? No, because then it gets the drought. I have the geyser. I just have the geyser here. Bump, 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 bam, 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 bam. Yeah, let's just throw a max geyser onto it. Hmm. I'm gonna parting shot. I'm gonna parting shot here. Let's just drop its special attack. For later usages. He's gonna go for a wildfire onto my Grimmy Grim? No, not my Grimmy Grim, my Incineroar. Wow, that did still a decent amount. So I just need to Stroud out the way. I really do. He's gonna take out my, uh, he's gonna take out my Incineroar here. Parting shot. Goes out here. And then I think we can eat up a shot, to be honest with you. I really do feel like we can eat up a shot with that. Actually, my Incineroar might be able to eat. Because the life orb damage doesn't kick in yet. Let's see. How much damage are we doing? Not too bad. But the main part was we get the drought out of the way. The solar power isn't going to trigger and do more damage. And his fire move isn't going to do as much. 
Hmm. How should I roll here? I really don't know how I, how I should roll here. We have these leftovers. We have the burn on us. This is going to be close. It is coming down, actually. I, I just need my incineroar to eat up this wildfire. There's no way it's doing 36. That's a lot. That is a lot. All right, we're at 36. Oh, no. He's not affected by it. Beautiful. Uh, Scald? Scald or protect? Or recover? I say we protect. I really do say we protect here. I mean, Darkest Slayer. Because I think he's going to go after me with a overgrowth. Let's see what happens here. I'll take protect. There's no way you read it. If you read it, he won the match. That's it. It's true. He, no, he might not read it. That should be on in my mouth. Yes, Milotic eats. He gets a speed boost. He already had it. Beautiful. Okay. We'll get this Darkest Slayer off. And now I think we're chilling. Depending how much we bring him down here. Depending on how much damage we do here, could give us the win. Okay, I think we got the win in the bag. I think we got the win in the bag. Because G-Max Wildfire does not affect my, uh, my Incineroar. So now we just double up into a move, go Darkest Larry into Scald, and he can't take us both out. Unless he guards. Unless he guards. No, he can't guard. Unless he protects. He's definitely protecting. I'll try to take out my Milotic. I'm going to recover. I'm going to recover here. I'm going to recover and go into a Darkest Slayer. He's got to protect. <gasps> he heat waves. Okay, Instant Roar 8. Instant Roar 8. And we, get, and we get this off. Beautiful. That's going to be game. Awesome. 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 Thank you, Rain. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, no way. He heat waved. I seriously thought he was going to protect and just had the G-Max Wildfire take out my Malatic. So, we went for that recover. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. GG, we go 2-1 and one with this team. Start off that first match. Played pretty well, just end up losing in the end. And then come back on that 2-win streak. The Tech, thank you so much for dropping this team. I had tons of fun with that. I really do like how I had two options for sleep. I love the Elder Gloss. I always love Elder Gloss, especially with Leech Seed. You set them up and just start getting health. We had the Draco Fish for big damage. Same thing with that Incineroar and that competitive Milotic works awesome as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.